All right, guys, so it's kind of a surprise to me that nobody has talked about this yet. Starlinks is pretty much available globally at this point, and the only reason that they are not is because of local regulations. But for those countries that do have Starlinks available, it makes complete sense that upcoming vehicles such as the Model 3 and Model Ys that are due for a revamp that are going to be getting this new chip that should be able to connect to these Starlink satellites. Now, why I think this makes sense is because Tesla can essentially kick out the middleman which is the cell companies they're essentially able to connect their own vehicles to their own satellite dishes and in the case of Starlinks and Tesla they're owned by Elon so there's definitely going to be some kind of collaboration there now what it means for you guys is that Tesla is able to sell vehicles at a much lower price and the margins they're still gonna be able to get as much for the vehicle that they're selling they're no longer relying on the spotty networks of the carriers and and on top of that, they're no longer paying the carriers, meaning that they're able to push that cost savings on to us. Now, of course, included in all that is the optimization and the data collection that Tesla is able to do with the new Starlink dishes and the vehicles. They're gonna be able to track a lot of information depending on where the vehicles go. It might be into remote areas, into the desert, into the forest. There's so many places that there is currently no cell service right now. Now, I'm sure you guys have experienced the same issue as I did when driving the vehicles into remote areas or stretches along the highway where you don't get any cell connection at all. It's essentially a dead spot and it goes on forever depending on where you are. This definitely is a safety concern because as your phone doesn't have service and a vehicle doesn't have service, if anything happens along the way, especially during the night and in the winter, you are unable to contact emergency services. Now, this is where the iPhone 14 came along and really innovated in this area. You have SOS with satellite now and that definitely is a feature that needs to come on to future tests the vehicles. Now you guys are probably wondering if this is going to be available on current vehicles with hardware 3 and even hardware 4. I'm just gonna throw it out there. It's definitely not gonna be available because of where the antennas are placed and what kind of antennas are available on the board. Now at the moment with hardware 4 and the FSD board in general, we're limited to purely just 4G. There's not even the 5G spectrum yet. So that aside, there's not gonna be a satellite antenna available anywhere there. But even if there was the current placements of the antenna and how small they are just doesn't make it possible. Now at the moment if you guys don't already know the 4G antenna and the Wi-Fi antenna is bundled together in the side passenger mirror is definitely too small and in a bad location where it would make a satellite connection possible. If we were to see something in future vehicles the antenna would probably replace somewhere right at the top of the roof that's the best place to get the connection at all times. So if I had to take a guess of when this is going to be available I'm going to say it's probably probably going to come with the Cybertruck and possibly the Project Highland and Project Juniper vehicles. Now honestly I haven't said it enough times if you guys are thinking of picking up a vehicle right now it's not the best time because we know that other vehicles are coming out very shortly and this is going to be a whole redesign revamp of the entire vehicle. Now as we've heard they're going to be removing some features from the vehicles but including other features that they deem much more important to passengers. Now I do see some plus sides of them removing the temperature sensor for example and replacing it with a satellite antenna. So now if this happens or not in the upcoming vehicles I've mentioned this is going to be inevitable it's going to be coming into all vehicles in the future they're not going to be relying on cellular companies for the long term because it doesn't make any sense and at the moment right now if they were able to bundle the package of Starlinks into a miniature version they're definitely going to be placing it into vehicles like the Cybertruck. Now honestly just sharing my little experience here driving through the desert through Death Valley. If you guys haven't done that road trip already it's fantastic but most of the time you do not have any signal at all. Now during my entire drive as the sun was setting down and I haven't reached to Vegas yet I was really worried. I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to contact anyone once the sun sets and there is nobody around and I do face some kind of danger. This is where I'll gladly pay Tesla 10 bucks a month to use this service whereas paying another cellular company they're not gonna be even able to provide service in areas like this. So honestly a win-win for Tesla and for us if this does happen in future vehicles upcoming services like the RoboTaxi and Optimus are going to be relying on a very solid connection 
connection and there cannot be any dead spots. So yeah, these are all my thoughts and I'm pretty sure at this point, Tesla is already working on something like that. There's probably a team integrating Starlinks into future vehicles. Now, whenever that happens, I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be rushing and wondering if there's going to be a retrofit. There possibly could be because this is a very small upgrade. I don't think it's going to take that much work to simply replace a board and add an antenna. But really, who knows? Maybe in the future, they're going to be able to mimic Starlinks into a tower and they're going to be able to push it to all vehicles currently with it. I don't really know what the possibilities are right now, but as Starlinks is partnering up with T-Mobile, you guys know that it's going to be possible eventually to simply just flip up your phone and connect to Starlinks. Anyways, guys, this should wrap it up for this video. If anything else comes along, I will keep you guys as posted as I can. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell notification and make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. That's where I'll be communicating with you guys off of YouTube. So anyways, this is it. This is John once again. Peace out.